me alone just for a minute. It's not me you're telling to leave alone, it's 2,000 people. We're now being transparent with our viewers, what's happening? <laughs> cramps. What cramps? Why? Because <laughs> it's my time of the month. <laughs> they really don't need to know that. Oh my god, get the camera out of my face. We got into York quite late last night. But now it's pretty early in the morning. Uh, we got in, we're walking in along the River Ouse right now. Uh, it's about a 20 minute walk and it's really awesome that like this is really close to the city centre and we're just in nature on this lovely walk. Uh, I'm really excited to show Emma, I've been telling her for ages about York and I'm super excited to show her. It was when the Vikings came to England, this is one of their set main settlements, so it's this really medieval town. It used to be the capital of England. This place is awesome. We're just walking into town in York and we've come across this area and it's, it's like a little village but on the water. So there's loads of little boats on the water and then each person has like a plot of land with like picnic benches and fire pits and little gardens and things. It's so nice. Definition of the good life. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you, just wanna be with you till we grow old. Please tell me you'll stay or take me away. I want you for myself every single day. You set my world on fire. You set my world on fire. One of them fantastic things about York is I think for anyone coming from outside of England visiting it's exactly as so I've got some in my eye oh my god what is it are you still filming this no just tell me when and I'll turn it back on I think I'll, oh god what is it One of the great things about York is that if you're traveling from outside of England, coming to visit, it's a really great city to visit. It's very quintessentially English. I love how it's a small city. There's these old buildings and cobbled streets and walkways everywhere. The history, it's just, it's so much nicer than anywhere else I've been in England. So for example, this building here is from the 13th century and it's not even the oldest building in York. It's gorgeous. The best thing you can do here is just walk around. It's like, just get lost and just walk around the streets. It's like a medieval city and it doesn't feel like England at all. What's really, really awesome, especially today, but every time I ever come here, is that there is so much going on. Like for example, there's three different food festivals going on right now. Just been eating some chocolate brownies. There's like a street food festival, there's street. a chocolate festival. It really is like crazy how much is going on and also we really don't like crowds but it's so busy here but it doesn't detract from how nice it actually is. No. A little fun fact for you guys, there are more pubs than days of the year. You can go to a different pub every single day of the year but the one that you must visit is the King's Arms on the waterfront and in there it floods every year and they proudly display how high the floods have got. It's really crazy. Another thing that you must do which is just free when you're walking around is visit the York Minster and Clifford's Tower. These two ancient buildings are just in the city amongst all of the other things.
pointless fact for you that I learned while I was at university here is that there are more ducks per student than any other university. <laughs> All you really need to do when you're here is get lost in the city, have a walk around, go around the city walls, it's beautiful. Guys, I always say, if you come to England, please, please do not go to London. This has always been my favorite place in England. And having come back again after university for the first time, I've fallen in love with it even more. This place is so special that I haven't seen anywhere like this in the world. If you want to feel that quintessential English vibe, come to York. I can honestly say the reason that I travel is because I came here on my own at 18 years old and I realised actually what was out there. I was from a very small town in England and I had not been away, especially on my own. And it just blew my mind that this was out there and I needed to see more. I owe this place so, so much and the reason I am and who I am is because of here. And I'm not that kind of person but I almost feel emotional about how great it is. And this is the first time I've actually feel like I've seen it through tourist eyes. I've now gone around the world and come back. And this place is really, really up there with anywhere I've ever been. Hands down, without a question, the best place in England. But not just that, it's one of the best places in the world. It, it's still like a tourist place, but it's still undiscovered in the grand scheme of things. Honestly, if you come to England and you just go to London, you are missing out on such a big experience for you guys. This place is a medieval paradise. If you think there is a better place in England than York, then I need to know where it is because I need to see that. If you're coming to the England for the first time, please, please come here. Get out of London. You can do everything you need to see there in the first day or two. Get out, see real England. This is real England. Please press subscribe if you like what you've seen and also smash the like button.